Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. If you're new, Thanks so much for stopping by. All right, let's do another Versus. Yeah. All right, got in the uh, wave of studio series that everybody's getting so far. And I thought I would do, you know, instead of doing a regular review, I just thought I'd do a Versus. Why not? So they're going to verse the uh, Siege Ratchet, which is a pretty good mold. And this is the new studio series one. And here's the box real quick to show you that. I don't, I probably have the box for Siege. I just don't know where it's at. Put up somewhere. There you go. Very nice. Uh, Amazon sent this to me, so it is kind of jacked up, <laughs> but it transforms in 22 steps. Looks like a moonwalker kind of vehicle thing. Pretty cool. But yeah, I thought I'd do this. I uh, really like doing these versus things. They're really fun. So I'll just do a little comparison of, uh, you know, alt modes and the bot modes and all that stuff. So let's just get right to it. That's what you came for. Yeah. All right. Let's take a quick look at their weapons, what they come with. Now this is the studio series and he just comes with his long and strong rifle. About to get his friction on. No paint, and it's brown plastic. It does got some nice sculpt wear. A little waffleness going on. Imagine that. But yeah, it looks pretty good. I like it. It's probably uh, blast effects. I, uh, they might can fit in that. I don't know. I don't know if it will or not. Had to try that later. All right, and here is Siege. Now, he comes with this kind of a shoulder cannon kind of thing going on. Nicely painted. Got some silver. Got some sculpt work in there. Looks good. Also comes with a little wrench which is also painted. Very nice scope work. Very good. And kind of a, I guess a missile or a pistol kind of thing going on. Now you can combine these. You can put that in there and then put that in there. And so you can have a little combining thing going on. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, there you go. That's what they come with. You can display their weapons or you can store them on the uh, Studio Series one on top. You just plug it in. And with uh, the Siege Ratchet, you can plug it in right here. You do got some ports right here. Uh, there is two ports right there. You can add on some other weapons and also back here too as well. So you have a couple options for uh, displaying. But there you go. That's what you can do, you know, with a kind of little pistol. And you can put blast effects on these and then put that there if you want to. So there you go. That's how you store the weapons. All right, and there they are both in their alt modes. And I think they both look really good. I love the kind of moon thing, moon base, whatever, uh, little vehicle for this, uh, you know, the studio series. And I love the ratchet or, you know, the siege one too, as well. Now, as you can tell, the siege one is quite much bigger than, wow, that is really sad <laughs> that they're getting that small, but that's how, yeah, look how big, much bigger he is. Wow. Hmm. That is something. But, like I said, I do like both of them. We'll, look, we'll take a look at each one. All right. So, this is kind of also looks like kind of a moon, you know, base vehicle. But very nice. Got some nice red paint throughout. Looks pretty good. You got the nice silver. You got the nice Autobot uh, symbol. And this is painted white all around there. And you got some red. Nice translucent blue for the window to the wall. Like I said, silver paint right there. Another silver paint for the lights. Well, some decent, you know, there's a lot of white plastic, but it's broken up a little bit with the red and silver and stuff. We kind of wish they would have painted the uh, rims silver, but kind of a different off-white than what the uh, plastic is. Now, it does have some, uh, you know, battle damage. You know, the uh, space goop back here. It's kind of weird. Nothing really up front. Well, I'm sorry. I'll take that back. I'm sorry. Right here. He does have some up there. So... Yeah, I like it. I mean, a lot of people didn't like it. They want to take it off. I think it gave it character, and I, so I, I liked it. It was pretty cool. Now, I do have the filler kit for it. Usually, there was a big old gap, you know, with the uh, waffles and stuff, but I do have the filler gap, you know, kit in there, and there's the other side and underneath, so it does roll just fine. A little smooth surface, but it will roll fine. But yeah, there is the um, Siege Red Alert, and let's bring on over the... Uh, Studio Series. And like I said, I love the alt mode for this too. Looks very cool. Love the translucent blue, the nice Autobot symbol right there, the nice red, and looks like 
kind of a gunmetal kind of a, a paint right there and right there it looks like vents yeah i love that translucent now this white right here is painted on the uh front of it but the rest of it, and they painted they did paint the wheels that's awesome i still show the mushroom pig peg i'm sure somebody will make a little filler kit for that to cover that up you got some red paint right there some more red paint right there i like they did paint the rims and you got some nice uh Scope work in there. Should have painted that red maybe for the tail lights are right there. And underneath, you can see everything. I think uh 115 uh Utopia is making a filler kit for this guy. So be on the lookout for that. That does roll just fine. So yeah, I like the alt modes. I like both alt modes, man. I don't think you can go wrong with either one. There's a the front. They are totally different ratchets, but Man, look how long that one is to this one. Jeepers. There's a little peg right there. You might could peg something in there. And here's the back. It's so pretty cool, yeah. I toss up with the uh, alt modes. I like both alt modes. are really good. So there you go. That is Studio Series Ratchet and Siege Ratchet. All right, and there is some Legend Scale, uh, New Age Prowl, Magic Square Prowl, Universe Wheelie, and then you got the Siege Red Alert for some scale reference. And, you can tell he's still, he's a little longer than the studio series. And crappy garnets, crappy toilet paper, car mix, and care bears for more scale. All right, back from transformation. And I have to say, he has a fun transformation. Really a lot more into it than I thought it would be. But yeah, a very fun transformation. And so does he, so tie with the transformation. But yeah, both of them really fun, uh, really good. So here they are. He is uh, holding his weapon. He can hold it in either hand. Good. It's a big old gun. Okay, I've never really pictured Ratchet with a huge gun, but there you go with that. And here is, uh, uh, you know, a Siege, War for Cybertron Siege. Now you can hold his little, you know, Ratchet or his uh, wrench. And like I said, you can plug this in the back right here. It can go on on either side. And you, like I said, you can take this off. You can use it as a weapon. He does have tons of five millimeter ports, uh, you know, two right here on each arm. You got one right here. So you can arm them up and all that wonderful stuff, all that fun, playable stuff. But there you go. There they are with their weapons. Let me take them off and we'll take a quick look at these guys. Right, and as you can tell, the Siege one is quite a bit taller than the Studio Series one. Now this one is a white white. This is kind of a dirty white. This is kind of off white right there. So there go. we'll take a quick look at their head sculpts. Looks good. Both of them look pretty good. There's the chest. Once again, the nice translucent blue. Both of them have that. The red and white. He does have some silver. We'll look at that. But there's the legs. Once again, he does have the uh, battle damage or dirt. The all that stuff. Okay. And here's the sides and the backs. So like I said, I do have the filler kit for them. If I didn't, he'd have a bunch of waffles, especially right here and back here. There's the backs for them and the back of the legs. There's some big gappage right there. So very nice. We'll take a look at Siege first. Put him off to the side real quick. Here you go. Very nice. Once again, nice head sculpt. Got the beautiful blue eyes, a nice silver, uh, kind of gray. I'm sorry, not silver, but gray paint right there. Then gunmetal silver for the head crest. Looks good. So you can go uh, look down a little bit. Uh, not much up side to side and give you a little attitude as well once again nice paint throughout the white right here the nice red the red and white right there all right you can go up to there for 90 degrees but you can get up a little more like that that's good all the way around you do have a little more than 90 degrees for the elbow bend got some nice sculpt work throughout the forearm and the arm looks good you do got a bicep swivel and a swivel of the hand you do have a waist swivel. That is good. No ab crunch. You can band down all day, every day. That is nice. Kick up, kick back. You do have a thigh swivel. 90 degrees for the knee bend. You do have no toe tilt up or down, but you do have a nice rocker with that. And you got the red paint throughout. And there is the back again. All right. So that is Siege. Let me go get Studio Series. And here is Studio Series, and I really like him. He looks really good. Very nice sculpt, or the uh, face. 
very nice. You got some nice silver paint, the nice, beautiful. That is light piping, so it is light piping. You got the red for the crest, looks good. Got some nice sculpt work in there for the uh, shoulders, the upper up there. Once again, the beautiful translucent blue, the nice silver. There you got the red paint, kind of a brownish paint right there. Sil or gray paint right here, it looks good. All right, so you can look down quite a bit. Up, not much. Side to side, and a little add to it as well. I do love that head sculpt. All right, so you can go up to there. 90 degrees, that's good. A little, little uh, loosey-goosey on some of the areas. The tolerances are a little loose on this fella. Uh, all the way around, that's good. You do have a little more than 90 degrees for the elbow bend as well. Bicep swivel, big gappage right there. Tons of waffles. Mm. In and out for the hand, just cause transformation, nothing else. Like I said, I think somebody's gonna make a filler kit for this guy. All right, waist swivel, very nice. You can van down all day, every day with this fella too. Kick up, kick back. Man, look at the waffles, golly. Uh, he does have a, a thigh swivel. I don't know if I said uh, if uh, Ratchet had on a Siege one, he does have a thigh swivel too, but if I didn't say go over it. Um, 90 degrees for the knee bend. I like the, uh, you know, the fake tire right there. That looks pretty cool on the side, that's nice. Uh, got some nice gray paint right here and red paint. Uh, you do have a tilt tilt up, tilt tilt down, and a little rocker. Wish it a little more, but the stuff gets in the way. And you got his feet, some nice uh, sculpt back there. And then you got the back of this guy. You do got some nice sculpt right there. Sculpt work back here. I like all that stuff right there. Would have been cool if they made threw some paint into you know make it a little pop, but it's all right. And then look got the little stuff right there too as well. So there you go. So that is Studio Series Ratchet. And let me bring him back. And there you go. There they are together. Looks pretty good. A liter scale chug, uh, the you know, the Megatron from Kingdom uh, Mold. You got Retgar from the A6 uh, Studio Series, Optimus Prime, Sideswipe, and I just threw in a Legend Megatron to see, show how small he's gotten. But there you go. Scale. Crappagonic, crappy toilet paper, some Carmax, Care Bears, Kicker, and Squeaks for more scale. That concludes my verses with Ratchet. This is the Studio Series uh, Ratchet from the Bumblebee movie. Then you got Siege Ratchet from the uh, War for Cybertron line. Man, I, this is a hard one, Giggity. Uh, I like both of them. I mean, I think you should have both of them in your collection. They're both really fun Ratchets. Alt modes are awesome. Like I said, I love the little moon thing going on with him. And I like the, you know, the alt mode for him. Transformation on both of them are fun. They're really nice engineering, especially for this one. It was really fun. Uh, bot modes look really good. Uh, the paint, I mean, really decent, you know, to be honest with it, with him and him as well. Now he does have the, uh, you know, the space goop. If you don't like that kind of thing. Yeah. But I think he was a, he was also a Walgreens exclusive. So he was kind of a little, a little harder to find, but I think a lot of people was able to find him. Uh, articulation, both of them have really good articulation. I kind of wish he had more of a, uh, 
ankle tilt, a more of a rocker. Uh, but other than that, but the really the biggest thing I could find any fault with, well, the tolerances for this guy is a little loose. I might have to kiki some uh, the uh, waist and the uh, elbows. I'm oh, sorry, the uh, shoulders a little bit, but it's the size. I mean, you can tell the difference, especially in uh, alt mode. The, this one is so much bigger, and they're charging more money. Like I so, said, you know, everybody knows that they're, you know, going up in prices. And if they're going to go smaller, I mean, where is the money? Where is, I mean, I mean, is it the engineering? I mean, because both of them have really fun engineering, you know, especially as far as, you know, transformation and stuff and paint. I mean, they both have good paint. So why are they going up in prices, but they're scaling down? Because, I mean, he is really, I don't know about all of them. Um, I'm going to do Will Jack tomorrow. I got in Will Jack and I'll do uh, versus with Earthrise, Will Jack, and him, and we'll see the differences. But you, as you can tell, there is a huge difference in scale. They are. This is. They're supposed to be both deluxes, and he kind of, you know, he's, they're going down to the legend scale, to be honest. But um, other than that, both of them are fun. Great transformers. I love the uh, both the weapons are fun. They look good. So you know, I, I can't really. It's hard to pick one, to be honest. I, it's really hard. They're both really fun. I like them. Well, I hope you like that. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go in there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. I'm trying to get to 7,000 uh, subscribers. I'm about 200 off a little bit. And, um, yeah, so I guess I'll see you on the next Versus. And as always, be good to yourself. Oh, hit me up some comments. Tell me which one you like better. Do you like the uh, Siege one? Do you like the Studio Series? Or do you like both of them like I do? And I guess I'll see you on the next Transformer Versus. And as always... Be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers. And good night, folks.